Hey guys, today's video is a journal share and so if you follow me on Instagram you may already know that I've created a book for my nana who just passed away at the age of 91 so she lived a very long life. I was asked to make the memory book or guest book for her service and for after her service so this is the book that I made. I'm trying to sit over this side because it's getting dark and it's a really dark day so I'm trying not to put shadows on the book but I just wanted to get a record of what I've made and share it with you guys because I feel like memory keeping can be so much fun and so joyful but at the same time it can be a tool that we use to grieve and it can be a tool we use to remember and to heal as well. It can be a very healing process to keep a journal or to make a journal and so I wanted to share the ideas that I had for this book and how I wanted to make it special for myself and for my whole entire family so that it could be something tangible to hold to remember her and her life and all the memories that we had with her. So given that I wanted to make this book in time for the service I didn't make a hardcover journal like I usually did. This cover is made out of card and it's got fabric and it's got um, some wallpaper and it's got a handkerchief. So I did a soft cover journal which was different for me but I'm really happy with how this turned out and it was, it took me significantly less time to make this cover so yeah I'm quite happy with how, how the cover turned out. Um, so. I first started creating the pages and once I had all my pages ready that's when I worked on the cover just because I didn't know how much time it was going to take me but this is the cover that I came up with it's got lots of stitching I've stitched a button here for the closure so there's some lace that wraps around it to keep it closed this is an old photo of my Nana um, that I really liked it's her amongst the flowers so I thought that was really cool and I just put it in a window and stitched I did some messy stitching to keep it in place. I put her name and I also put I put the years that she was with us on this earth. So down the bottom there. And then here on the spine, I, I stitched a hanky. So it's got the pretty little scalloped edge there. And then it wraps all the way around to the back. So I glued this and I stitched it. So it's got lots of stitching, lots of borders. And then on the spine itself, I did some decorative stitching with my sewing machine and then on my hand binding I just added some buttons that kind of reminded me of her and I thought they just added a little bit of something extra, just a little bit of extra decoration. And because this book is a softer cover book, they don't really get in the way too much when it's open, it just makes it a bit loud <laughs> on my desk. But yeah, so that's the cover. So on the inside of the book. So far I've just got this paper bag, I'll probably put uh, a tag or a card or something in there or maybe something from the service in there and I may put another little pocket down the bottom here. This paper on the inside is actually a um, drawer liner that I found in an opportunity shop quite some time back. It smells nice and it looks pretty so I use that to line the book. And then inside the book what I did was I tried to choose papers that reminded me of her for some reason. And I just included a bunch of photos that I had. So there's some photos from when I was little, from when my siblings were little. And there's also a bunch of really old photos because she had a huge wooden chest at her house that was full of photo albums that her husband, I think, mostly put together when he was alive. So there was lots and lots of old photos that my sisters and I spent the day going through and making copies of them so it's quite cool to include them in here because it shows it honors her as my grandma but also as who she was before when she was a younger person and all the things that she used to do and enjoy throughout her life and all the things that she achieved in her life so here in the front i just slipped this photo in of my nan and my little sister when she was a baby so that pulls out and also behind there's a there's a pocket there so I could tuck something in there. I did dye some papers in this book so I dyed them with fabric dye again I didn't use any tea or anything like that I used fabric dye and I made like a pinky color so I like how the pink paper turned out so there's just paper
papers that kind of remind me of her. This is from the Flourish collection. The Flourish collection was really good to use in this book. Peacocks have always reminded me of my Nana, so um, all the peacocks and peacock sort of themed papers in that collection worked really well in here. I've stitched this on for decoration. Uh, it's just from a, a book. It says Fred feeds the chickens. It just reminds me of her because she used to have chooks and we used to feed them and we used to get the eggs. So this is an envelope that I haven't sewn together yet. I need to do that. So anything that was kind of farm related reminds me of her. In here I've got a pocket and I've got a copy of an old photo. Uh, all the old photos I just backed with pattern paper instructions because I didn't want it to say like Canon all over it from my Canon selfie. So I just backed them. Um, horse because she used to have horses and there's a photo of the horses that they used to have. So tucked that in there. There's also lots of writing space, so at the service people can go through and write things, write memories if they want to, or later on people can add things in there. So there's an envelope here with a photo of the family. It tucks into the pocket, and then there's also a pocket here, and I've got a journaling card tucked in there. This is some vellum, and I printed a letter that she'd written me on the vellum to make a pocket. I just thought it was kind of cool to have some of her handwriting in the book and I just tucked in a photo of her family. So so this is my grandpa and my dad and Tit's brothers and it's from an old photo album from her house and it's really sweet because uh, my grandpa had written sweet things like my perfect family. I love them dearly. So. So I liked this hanky and my Nana's favourite flowers, or one of her favourite flowers was daisies, so I included this hanky and I made it into a pocket. So I just stitched the pattern paper to it to give it a bit more um, structure and then I just tucked in some more photos in there. I included this paper because it has an N, so N for Norma, so people can write on there and then there's a pocket here. Again I just used papers that reminded me of her house. There's a picture of me and my sister when we were little, riding our bikes around the house. An envelope here with another photo in there. Um, another photo in here. The other side of the hanky. So this is just a um, pretend postcard from some paper and then this is another copy of a letter that she wrote me. So I just tucked it in there. There's the other side of the vellum, so on this side I made the pocket at the top and so there's just a tag stitch in there. And this side has two pockets, so there's again a photo of us when we were little and my nan at her house. And then there's a picture of the horses again and just some note paper. I put this note paper through a die, so I like how it looks. This is a picture of my nana and my grandpa and it's tucked into a little acetate pocket and then behind that there's another pocket with some writing paper. This is another letter from my nana which I just stitched in as paper just to have some of her handwriting in here. And then over here, this is just for decoration. This is from one of the envelopes that her letters came in to me and it's just got like her name and address in her handwriting. I just stitched it on for decoration on this page so it just opens up. You could write under there. And then there's a pocket here with a photo and a little tag for writing on. And on the back of that, it's a pocket. So there's another picture of my nana there. And then there's the middle of the signature, so this is where I stitched on the beads. And there's just a big um, envelope there in the middle. This page has two pockets, so down here I put another photo and some writing paper and a journal card. And so they just tuck in there. And another photo up here of her and herself and her family and a journaling card beside that. Just 
the letter again. Over here, there's a pocket with a photo of her house and just a little um, carrot seed ephemera piece. Another acetate photo pocket with a picture of my nana when she was younger. And then there's some writing paper tucked behind that. So another pocket here with some writing paper. Just another little image that kind of reminded me of her and her house. And then I included this illustration. This is some paper that beautiful Kaylee sent me. It's so nice. And I included it because on the other side of it, there's a picture of one boy and I think four little girls. So I included that because in my in amongst me and my siblings, there's one boy and the rest of us are girls. So I included that. And that's just a pocket on both sides. Here's some of that peacock paper. It reminds me of my nana because she had peacocks around her place and she had she always had peacock feathers in her house too. So there's more photos and little tags in the pocket. Over here an envelope with some writing paper. Um, I don't think that's a pocket, just a writing place. Another envelope that I haven't sealed up. Another double pocket, so there's a photo again in there, and some places to write. And then there's another photo here up the top, just of my sisters. So there's some more journaling paper tucked into that pocket. Another double pocket, so this is another old photo of my dad and his brothers, and a picture of my nana up top there. And I just included this Sunday dinner piece. Um, just because we used to go and have lunch usually on a Sunday at my nana's house so put that in there an envelope with a tag in it just in case anyone wants to write in there another pocket here with a picture of myself and my my sister and my brother at the park near my nana's house so here I just stitched on some wrapping paper. I'd saved this a couple of years ago. So every year my nanny used to wrap our presents up in this paper. So I just took some of this paper out from my Christmas memory book and I just I just stitched a sample of it in here because everybody everybody remembers it because she always used it. Another little envelope spot with a little journaling card piece in there. Another end paper, um, another envelope here with a photo and a little frame journaling piece, another envelope here with another photo of her cat. When we were little she had this cat and it used to hide in the shed every time we came over, which is probably a smart choice because there was six of us little kids that would have chased it around it just used to hide in the shed so here's a small copy of one of the letters she wrote me and I just made it a pocket and put some extra paper in there here I made a couple of copies of some awards that she got when she was younger so she used to be really good at tennis and also golf so these are her a couple of her golf awards she had a lot more of them so I printed these on my Canon selfie as well and I just batched them the same way I did the photos so they turned out quite good they're, they're glossy but they turned out well I didn't want to put originals in here because I just felt like it, all the original all the original copies of photos and awards and everything needed to just stay together where it was oh and there's also a pocket up here with a frame can hear the ice cream truck <laughs> so there's more of that peacock paper there and some more writing paper a fold out page and an envelope here which has a journal card and a photo of one of my nana's sons who actually has also passed away so I put those together in this pocket And then in the back, the way that I did this was I glued the hanky on and stitched it on and then there was excess 
hanky so I left it on and then I folded it over and folded it over again and that makes a pocket here so this was quite delicate and it did it did have a little tear in it so um, it I had to be quite careful about how I did it but it worked out well and so there's a pocket there in the back for something to go in there maybe maybe again something from the service yeah so I also stitched on some of this lace just for the closure and that is the book so like I said I just wanted to share what I what I made get a record of it and maybe give you some ideas for things you could include if you ever have to make a book for this purpose it's a sad task but it's also a comforting task and it's a healing process I think to be able to make something um, while you're grieving to to get all your memories into one place it's yeah kind of a healing process I think so anyway I hope you enjoy this flip through if you have any questions um, just ask in the comments below and Thank you in advance to everybody who has and will offer their condolences to myself and my family. It's very much appreciated. Um, and yeah, so I'll be back with another video soon. I hope you're all doing really well and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.